So, I've been using Hacks Flixel for the past few months to develop my first game and it's a really fun engine, I enjoy using it and I enjoy writing the language Hacks. And one of the things that brought me to Hacks Flixel was the fact that you could write it once and then publish it everywhere. So to Windows, Mac, um, iOS, Android, Steam and even consoles. So there are two PlayStations here, one for PS. I think one for PS4 and one for PS Vita and Xbox as well. And if you go down the showcase list of the Hacks Flexel site, you'll see some other consoles. Um, like, I think even the Wii at some point, they've got games on Wii. But anyway, um, this is a video to say that that's no longer the case. Um, Hacks Flexel will no longer support console development. Well, kind of. So this game, Defender's Quest, was, I've forgotten who made it, but anyway, one of the guys who did make it, um, his name's Lars, and he recently wrote a post, well, recently, as in last year, September, wrote a post about how it's complicated to use, to make games from um, Hacks, Flick, Hacks Pixel and put them on console. And that's mainly because consoles, so Xbox One, PS4, and PS Vita, use an older version of OpenFL, and it's really difficult to, to port that to console. So OpenFL, um, if you don't know, is kind of the the back backbone of Hacks Flixel. So there's Hacks, which is the main programming language, and then above that, there's OpenFL, which is the uh, which is Flash APIs that have been put into um, Hacks, and then after that, it's Hacks Flixel. So this is this is the main problem. This is what's difficult to be put to consoles. And um, he has put a decent post on Hacks Flixel forums. All of these links, by the way, will be in the description. But he put a decent um, post about his process of getting um, Hacks fix or, or OpenFL to, to work on consoles. And as you can see, consoles use, open, oh, yeah, consoles use OpenFL version 3, because um, at, at the time he was working on the game, that's the version that was available. And um, he got some help from a company called WayForward, which is, I think is a Canadian company that, that make games as well on console. But anyway, if I remember correctly, he's using their engine of i'm not sure how he did it he's a really clever guy but he's used some of their engine code um to to work with hacks pixel on consoles and um i think in this post let's have a look if it's this one i should have prepared more before i made this video but i think one of these posts he has a video of um the game the hacks pixel a uh, hacks demo sorry no not this one fine but he's got a video of a hacks pixel demo working on the wii u um, which is awesome. But as of, I don't know, this year, late last year, he says he said he's not doing that anymore. Hacks Pixel um, for Xbox One, PS4 and PS Vita is no more. OpenFL is no more. And um, if you are a game developer or someone who wants to get into game development and wants to make consoles for, sorry, wants to make games for consoles using Hacks Pixel, um, don't use Hacks Pixel. Um, use, use something else. I know in my article I wrote ages ago, I said Hacks Flixel supports consoles. Um, it doesn't, but there is some good news. In this article he wrote, he did say that he is going to support development for the Nintendo Switch. So if you do want to make a Hacks Flixel game, or if you do have a Hacks Flixel game in development at the moment, and you want to put it on Switch, then it, it should be possible. I'm not sure how possible it is. I know the whole process of getting a game that you made on PC on console is quite difficult in general. And he said that here. He said e even if you're like an amazing programmer and, and you've got a game ready to go and you want to put it on consoles, he would always recommend getting a, a port company or, or someone who's done it before, like a port team, to help you port to those consoles. Um, so that's that. But there's also hope in the fact that Stencil which is kind of a, a no coding um, game engine is also built in Hacks and OpenFL. So if down the line the Stencil team want to have a game or, or have their engine be compatible with uh, PS4, Xbox One, um, Nintendo Switch and so forth, they would have to make sure OpenFL works on that as well. So if they do that, then technically OpenFL will work on consoles and then Hacks Flixel will work on consoles and then everything will be fine. Um, but if that, if that never happens, if you're eager to get started with game, with game development, if you're, like I said here, a web developer who wants to move into game development, 
there are other hacks um, game engines that can do the trick. So one of them is called Heaps. Um, Heaps is a game engine that was built by the people who made hacks um, and it works on consoles. So this is all broken at the moment. I don't know why they need to fix their site, but the game Dead Cells, which is a Switch game, is was built with Heaps. Also this game, which I forgot what it's called. I think it's called Northguard. Also built with Heaps. Um, Evo Land is another game that was also built with Heaps. So, so it is possible to do. And there's also, if I remember correctly, another game engine called Car. Um, Car is, is a bit more lower level than Hackspixel, but it's usable. And what you can do here is you can you can port car games to consoles, but you can actually port games you've written in car to Unity and then port it to consoles through that. So you've got options. Um, so yeah, Hackspixel console development is is no more, unless in the far future, the PS5 and the new Xbox Scarlet, whatever they decide to call it, does support the new version of OpenFL, OpenFL 8 or whatever it will be. And if that happens, then yeah, we can put new games onto um, consoles. But until then, if you want to make a game on the PS4 with Hacks Pixel or with Hacks in general, um, check out Heaps, check out Car, use something else, um, but not Hacks Pixel. Cool, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, I will put the links in the description and let me know if you have any more questions.